Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I'm starting an irregular new series called Fun with Moth. Yeah, you heard me and I'm not talking about writing 8008135 on the calculator. This episode is all about companion stats and how to transfer those companion stats to your character. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more informational videos about Neverwinter, hit the subscribe button. So I did some research uh, and figured out how companion and augment stats are transferred to your character. It's really, really awkward. And at first I had no idea how it worked. It didn't make any sense. Uh, it actually works different for companions and augments. Uh, I will start off with the companions and then go on to augments and at the end I will also demonstrate my calculator that I made for calculating how many stats are transferred and we're going to do some demonstrations on the preview server to show you guys that these calculations are indeed correct. So let's start with companions. Um, before we dive into the specifics of the companions I want to define some basics to work with. You can see them on the screen now. These basics are true for companions, but later on also for augments when we get there. Each companion has a base value. These base values you see here are for a companion or augment of a certain quality, but at the max rank of that quality. So for a legendary that would be rank 40 and for a rare companion that would be rank 30. Uh, an uh, uncommon 25, common 20, and epic is 35. Um, the multiplier that you see here, this percentage, is specific for companions. It also goes up by 10% for each quality upwards. This one is not applied for augments, by the way, so that's the only difference. Um, there are some other definitions as well. Uh, which I want to use later on in my formulas. The first one is GS, which is gear score. And gear score for in this case means all the gear stats, including runestones, except the combined rating stat. This combined rating works a little bit separate from the other gear stats. Uh, and here comes the second one, which is combined rating. And this is all the combined rating scores combined from the gear. The third one here is B percentage, which is your bonding percentage. And this is just the total percentage of all your bonding runestones uh, in total. If you use one, you just take that one. If you have multiple, add them all up. Next one is BB, uh, which is bolster bonus. Uh, and this is just one plus your bolster percentage. Um, if you have a bolster bonus of 10%, you would get 1.1. If you have a bolster bonus of 5%, it's 1.05 and 15%, which is now the new maximum, by the way, it would be 1.15. The last generic uh, definition I would like to make is CIB, which is companion influence bonus. Uh, it's mostly dependent on your charisma stat. Uh, so if you would divide your charisma stat by two, you get your companion influence bonus, uh, which can later on also be increased by feats and boons, I think also. Uh, and this is also one plus your percentage. So for 6% is 1.06, for example. Uh, so let's talk about companion, companion stat sharing. Um, first of all, what's still the same for companions and augments is that we have two bonuses. Um, we have an immediate bonus and we have a bonus after 30 seconds. So the immediate bonus uh, you get immediately when a companion is summoned and you have uh, bonding runes and gear on it. Or I think just the companion is summoned is enough, but every time you change something on your companion, this is the first bonus you get and the uh, second bonus is erased from your, your um, boost and the second bonus you get after 30 seconds of doing nothing. And this 30 seconds is not dependent on whether you are in combat or not. It does not matter. 
for augments and for companions, it's not based on combat anymore. And now we get to the difference between companions and augments because the calculations of these bonuses are actually different. For companions, they are quite simple. Um, the immediate bonus is just your gear score. So all the gear stats, including runestones, except your combined rating, multiplied by your bonding percentage. So this one is quite fairly, it's quite easy to follow. Uh, it's just a bit odd that the combined rating is not included, but whatever. And the bonus after 30 seconds actually takes into account a bit more uh, it takes into account the base value, so that's the value we got up here. Let's say we have a legendary, so we take 3000. We multiply that by the companion influence bonus. That's the first part. Uh, on top of that, we add the base value multi uh, multiplied, uh, uh, multiplied by the multiplier. Uh, so for a legendary, that will be 3000 times 50% is 1500. For common, it will be 70, 200. 450 and I forgot something else. Anyway, it's this times this. That's the second part. You add those two together. Then you add the total combined rating of all the companion gear together. And all of that together, you multiply by your bonding percentage. And then you get what the companion boosts you, how many stats you get. One thing that we can see from this is that not everything here is used. Bolster bonus is not used for companion stat transfer. However, a bolster bonus is used for com combat skills of companions. So this is something different. Uh, combat uh, companions have combat skills. They do damage against enemies and their bolster bonus supposedly is having an effect. So they do more damage if you have more bolster bonus. So that's the companions. Let's go to the augments. Uh, as I said, for augments, we don't have the multiplier of ours here, so I remove them. They also have two bonuses, uh, one immediate bonus and a bonus after 30 seconds. That's exactly the same. But now we get to a little bit weird formulas. Um, the immediate bonus for the augments is your base value. So let's take the legendary again, 3000 times the bolster bonus. So that's one plus bolster percentage. If we have 10%, it would just mean we get uh, 3000 plus uh, multiplied by 1.1 1 .1 is 3300. That's the immediate bonus plus your gear score multiplied by your bonding percentage. I think that's the one from campaigns as well, this, this piece. So the gear score accepts combined rating multiplied by bondings. So combined rating is not included in the bonding here. Plus one time your gear score, plus one time the combined rating again. So yeah, the gear score is multiple times in this calculation and combined rating only once. It's a really odd formula, but this is correct. I cannot help it. It's just like this. I, I see that I use uh, a star here and here a multiply. This is both just multiply, multiplication. Uh, and then we get to the um, bonus after 30 seconds. And in this one, we also have the uh, base value times your bolster bonus. But in this case, we add the combined rating to that and that total we multiply by our bonding percentage. That's the second bonus. One thing we can see here is that companion influence bonus is not used for augments. And since augments don't do anything in combat, it's not used at all. Meaning that if you go for an augment, you do not need to focus on companion influence bonus. Do not put points in charisma. It's a waste. So uh, that's how this stuff works. Now we get to the demo part. Uh, I have a, a character here. She's quite naked. Uh, she has a little bit of stats, uh, which I cannot get rid of for some reason. I don't know where they are. 
Uh, I don't have a companion summoned yet, but I do have some gear on here. Let's bring out uh, the calculator. Uh, first, we're going to uh, use companions. I already filled in the bonding percentage, which is uh, 55 plus 55 is 110%. Companion influence is 6%. Uh, back to the companion. We're going to summon an uncam uncom no let's let's summon a common com uh, companion first uh, and combined rating is 336 so we fill in the combined ratings here and the gear stats so that's everything on here except the combined rating we fill in uh, here one thing that I didn't mention yet but these other stats that we have if no companion is summoned we fill them in here just for completeness uh, well for completeness and we want to see what the total stats are which are already here calculated um, so yeah let's now summon a companion this one is rank 20 we set common so we're going to summon this one uh, it will have immediately some stats propped uh, which is the gear multiply of a gear and rune stones multiplied by bondings uh, so we get this times 110 percent and this times 110 percent and this times 110 percent and this times 110 percent those are added as you can see here and we have our other stats and if we wait for a bit uh, 30 seconds is quite a long time we will end up with these stats as you can see here, 1135, 1263, 1417, 5263, etc. It's all exactly correct. Uh, if we change, for example, this to a legendary companion, uh, so let's summon something else. We have here a legendary companion. It has a different bolster percentage, but it does not matter in this case because we're talking about companions. Legendary. Um, again, we have the gear stats already added, which is the same as before, just 110% of these values, which is not much. So, legendary or not, it does not matter in the first step. But after 30 seconds, you will see that we get a lot more because we also get the base stats, which are a lot higher for companions. So, you can see the 5390, 5518. 5672, 9518, etc. It's all exactly correct. So, one more thing I want to uh, add here is uh, so we see already the bolster bonus doesn't matter. What I want to show you is that if we add some charisma, we get companion influence bonus. So, let's add something like this. We go to a, a companion influence of 8%. Uh, let's reset this for a second so that it definitely starts over again uh, we go to 8% once again the first proc does not change that's just bonding multiplied by gear still the same but in the second proc campaign influence will make a change and we will have more stats here again So with 6% it was this, this actually changes, now it's 8%, it goes to this. And you can see here that once again, this is exactly the stats that we have here. So far, aug uh, companions, let's go to augments. Um, I think, oh, I think I only have one augment on here. Is it this one? Anyway, let's use uh, this one. It's an uncommon augment. Let's actually dismiss it. Um, this does not matter. Did I fill in everything correctly? One second. Companions. Let's fill this in for a second. Uh, we have 110% bonding. Bolster. We have 14% here. Yeah. 14%. Do I have another argument here somewhere? I don't 
think so. No. So we have 14% bolster. Close. 14. We're going to summon an uncommon uh, augment. 110%. And then we have to fill in the combined rating, which is 336. Okay, that's correct. And then on the gear we have... Uh, 220 power, we have no armor pen, we have 140 defense, critical strike we don't have on the gear, we have 1121 crit resist, no accuracy, no deflect, no combat advantage and 559 awareness. Okay, so the first proc would end up with these values, which is... Uh, this first weird uh, formula and after the second proc we should get this uh, which would be this set of values let's summon our augment uh, without it summon of course we have our base stats which is very low if we summon it oh and we go here we get these values which you can compare with this list and once again it's a very exact all correct uh, except for the last one, which is an odd one anyway, because there's some weird <laughs> add addition here. So maybe that awareness still needs some work. And if we wait for the second proc, we will get these values. As you can see, it's all accurate again, except for the last one, which is uh, a bit odd. So that is the new format uh, i hope you like it uh, the companion stat calculator can be downloaded once again for free from my patreon page so have fun it, the the link will be in the description uh, one disclaimer and i have made this one before things still change fast and i cannot guarantee that this calculator will be correct forever but have fun while it is if you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.